Hey everyone, Dolphin Oracle here today. And Danny Boy too, right back at you. Okay, Dan. Well, here we are. We on our uh, we're on our media computer in our house. We booted it up in UEFI mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to show the boot menus for UF for you for on the UF UEFI mode and make a persistent USB stick. So do not select the default option if you want to use any custom options. Use the What'd you do? I didn't do a thing. All right. So use uh, select the custom boot with menus option. With you got to use the arrow keys. You, the, there's no mouse here. Okay. Hit enter. And now we're going to get an image. Now it's going to ask for our default language. Uh, our language is English, so we're going to say 16 for English. Hitting six. So we're going to say 16 for English. And enter. All right. And we're going to say our time zone is New York. So 13 for New York. Obviously, if you're out there in the world, you can choose your own. And we're not going to pick anything here. As this is just some extra options if you need something. So we'll say uh, none is actually the default. So one there we go and now we have the persist menu we're gonna say all persist is what we're gonna select now if you if one know what the, all the other options are check out my video on live USB with persistence now it's gonna to ask to create the persistence file so this is a fat 32 formatted disk now in UFI mode you have to use a fat 32 formatted USB stick okay. So it takes a very long time to make persistence files on a, on a FAT32 format USB stick. But if you're booting UF, UEFI, you don't have a choice. So select custom, Daniel. Here we go. And select something small. For the purposes of this video, select the smallest one because we want to make a very small persistence file. Very small. Okay. Now you can see this warning will take several minutes per gig on a VFAT file system. That's FAT32 for us. And it will. It'll take forever. Now, a fast USB 3.0 drive, uh, not so bad. Not so bad. But uh, a slow old USB 2.0 port, yeah, it's going to take a while. All right, so now it's asking to create a home persistence file. This is basically the same thing as having a home folder. Home, home partition. It's going to create a separate file for our home folder. So do the same thing, Dan. Okay, so create the smallest one, which is 250. Right. Now, again, this is for demonstration purposes. I routinely use multiple gigabyte files. It just It's too long to create them for this video. Okay, now it's going to ask for a new root password. So put in a new root password. It will not show up. That's a Linux standard. Hit enter. And then do it again. you got to type it twice. Since you can't see it, it asks for confirmation. That way it looks for typos. And do the same thing for the default demo user account. Use the same password. Okay. Now it's going to ask for to choose uh, how it saves the persistence file. So Dan, go ahead. Um, and I now we choose semi-automatic. Right, you can choose whatever option you want, but Dan's gonna go with semi-auto. And there we go. I'm gonna lose video here for a minute while we get to the desktop. Okay, so now here we are on the desktop on the, with the welcome menu. So go ahead and close that out, Dan. Okay. And go over. Let's let's um, let's uh, here take the microphone for a second, Dan. It's it, to use root persistence on UF, UEFI system. You have to uh, select go through that menu process every time, which I will admit is very cumbersome. So what we're going to do, we're going to cheat just a little bit. We're going to go into the boot device. Let's see, live boot device and it's in the boot and we're actually using grub on a UEFI install and we're going to find grub config and we're going to edit that as root remembering the root password that we typed in which 
is Dan. Well, I told you to put in something I could remember. Mm hmm. And we are going to make a new custom boot entry for our um, for our installation. So we'll come down here to the end. We're going to paste that new entry in. I think I'm actually missing a bracket there. Okay. And we're going to use for a custom boot code. We're going to use persist equals root and an exclamation point, comma, home. What that's going to do is now we're going to have a custom boot menu entry that allows us to to do, uh, to do have the persistence file. And I'm just going to write persistence up here in the title so we can figure out which one it is when we reboot. And it's going to be file and save. There. All right, now Dan, go ahead and do a shutdown, and it'll show you how it's going to sync up the persistence file. So hit, hit the logout button at the top there. And now it says, shall we begin? Yes, this is the Antic Save Persistent Boot System. And you see there's all kinds of stats that it's going to show you. Just say yes here. And now it's going to do its thing and save the file. Okay, it's done. So clicking OK, and then we're going to go through the normal shutdown routine. Okay, so hit restart, Dan. We're going to lose video again as we restart, and we'll be back in just a moment. Yeah. All right, Dan, so we're back, and what do you see? Do we have a new boot, in, new boot menu entry? Um, yeah. Yeah, so let's, let's select that and reboot in persistence again. It should pick the persistence files up automatically. And you can see that it in fact has. It copied the four megabytes into RAM. And there we go, tickety boo. And there we are back at our desktop with our persistent changes in place. All right, time to sign off. Okay. For tips, tricks, how to's, head over to mepiscommunity.org or throw up a post at forum.mepiscommunity.org. This is Dolphin Oracle. And Nanny Boy. Signing off. Have a great day.